Hello my friends, this is Leanne from Crafty Kitty Vintage. Today I have a haul video for you. Um, I am so excited. Today I went with my daughter to um, three different thrift stores. Normally, um, you know, I'm in and out and I'm by myself um, at these thrift stores. Today I had her along and it was so much fun and I actually found so many items that um, I'm excited to add to my own collections as well as to um, bring to some future live sales that I'm going to be doing um, and I'm planning to do some drop sales on my channel as well so um, this coming week look for my um, first drop sale on my channel I'm not sure what day it's gonna be but it will be soon and um, then this coming Sunday I'm gonna be on Picasso cat Kathy's channel um, um, on Sunday night at 7 p.m. East um, 7 p.m. Pacific time um, and that'll be a lot of fun. And then on um, Wednesday at 1 p.m. Pacific time, I'll be on Trisha's channel, Trisha from San Diego Auto. So that'll be really fun. I always enjoy um, hanging out with Trisha. So, and Kathy as well, of course. Uh, I've been with her many times. So um, I'm just gonna show you some of the cool items that I found. Now I haven't priced anything, I haven't done research. Um, these are just items that I was compelled to pick up today, both for my own collection and for um, future live sales. If you're interested in any of them, just send me an email or comment below um, the video. Um, either way, please do comment. Um, I'd love to hear from you about what you like, if you have any information that I didn't have about these items. Um, um, yeah, so I'll just get started to show you what I picked up today. So here I have a couple uh, Made in Mexico pieces, a beautiful cat, and a sun trinket box. I have never come across such um, beautifully painted items in their sort of raw form. They are not glazed. Um, they're clay pieces. It says Made in Mexico on the stickers on the bottom. And there's some old price tag residue. Um, but I think they're super cute. They might have been pieces, you know, picked up on a trip or something. Um, but they're just so brightly colored. I'm going to put them under a black light and see if they glow. Because uh, they may have some of that, um, that kind of paint that glows in the dark. So, um... I just love them. This the sun face is just spectacular. They're just really, really well done. So those are a couple little items I picked up. And this is another one. This is a uh, handkerchief glass piece with some swirly white parts in it. It is signed on the bottom going to be difficult to see here but there is a signature and again I'm going to have to put it under some magnification and look it up I think it's a votive candle holder um, regardless it's a beautiful piece I had to get it here's a neat piece um, again uh, I've got to do a little research but it, it appears to be that kind of burwood stuff the fake wood that is, uh, you can tell by the screw heads there, um, probably the 60s. I love this. You can see, look what you can see. Can you see what I see in the reflection? Some of my favorite things ever. The <laughs> Santa and Mrs. Claus from Angela. Fiona was so kind to purchase those for me. And um, I will forever remember her because I look at those cuties. Anyway, love this piece. I wish I could find more like it. Um, but hey, I'm happy with that. This is a neat um, like plastic melamine kind of cup. It has old um, Disney graphics on it. It seems to be, uh, since it's made in Taiwan, I'm going to date it to around the 70s, somewhere in there. Just a little child's cup. Love that. 
love this uh, native style piece. I need to do some research to see, um, you know, where this might have come from because it doesn't have a signature. I do live in the Northwest, Pacific Northwest, where we have a lot of um, beautiful native pieces um, on display. Of course, trying to honor the, the native peoples, the first Americans in this area. So I love the look of that piece and it's surprisingly heavy too. And um, I'm assuming it is some sort of um, ceramic, but it certainly has this wood like texture. So I'm, I'm really not sure about it. It could be something, it could be nothing, but I love it regardless. And that's what I am drawn to. I pick up what I love. Um, and normally I don't find much that I love for some reason today at three different thrift stores where I went with my daughter, I found beautiful things. Now this is something that she might end up taking home with her. Beautiful swirly glass, art glass pieces. It has a little tape at the bottom, so I'm wondering if it maybe had a, a little bit longer stem that broke and was a little sharp. I'm going to check that out, but if, um, if it's broken or not, it doesn't matter to me. It's, it's a beautiful piece and it's, there's no chips or cracks up here, so beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. What else? Oh, I've never been able to find one of these before and today it just popped off the shelves. Um, it's blue. It says, oh, that's some sort of number, the manufacturer. It is one of those wine bottles. I know they make them in a lot of different colors and I had never come across a blue one. Actually, I've never come across any, but I've seen other people come across them in their, in their, um, either have them for sale in their sales or in their haul videos. So to get it. I think this would look cute with a candle in it. Um, you know, the pretty tall wine bottle-esque. Pick that up. Oh, this one is, I think, different. I've never seen this shape before, but it's a little dish on the back. It is stamped England and some kind of cursive name. Again, got to do some research. There's a number here. So probably not a super uncommon piece, but it's definitely vintage and definitely pretty. It has beautiful gilding around the edges and it's in really nice shape. So love that one. Now oh, this one's just for fun and just for me. My daughter thought, you're really going to get that? Pause and reflect. I like it. I don't know. I it has gold around the edge. Sort of looks kind of George Briardish, but it's definitely not. It's definitely a more modern piece. Speaking of George Briard, I think this one is something influenced by at least. So it says Napoleonic B, a contemporary interpretation of the famous Napoleonic B circa 1812 from the private collection and then I think it's the George Briard signature there let's see can we do the magic hands like Jen no we can't well you'll have to trust me but what really got me was these bees and they're dimensional because they have, you know, different, um, they have a shiny part and a kind of a matte part. It's hard to, hard to describe, but, um, other George Weard pieces have that sort of, um, kind of graphic that gives it dimension. Anyway, I just loved it, but it's a <laughs> toothbrush holder. And obviously you can use it for something else. You can even put flowers in it. You can put a flower frog in there and put flowers in it. You could put pens in it, whatever. But it was just so cute with the 
with the bees with a really neat bee graphic there so I, I definitely wasn't gonna leave that behind super super cute excuse me reaching down here it's hard to have a place for everything so um, here's another um, native inspired piece that um, or pieces set of four little woven mats that I thought were cute and that somebody would like these are made in India and they're 100% cotton and um, again a set of four kind of a boho look which I really kind of like so uh, I don't know the age of these um, but they're nice kind of screen printed pattern and in really good shape so I got those for something a little different this guy might be a modern piece it looks vintage but it may be modern I don't know it does not have any markings on it could have just been one of those things that you pick up that has you know lucky bamboo in it at the store um, but I really thought it was cute so I picked it up gonna do a little research and I'll let you know what else do we have here this is a little occupied Japan piece it's obviously a, a couple Maybe at a party. He has a neat cape on and sort of an animated posture. Now, look at that. Made in occupied Japan. So, definitely got some age to it. This is a little bag with a lion Wade Whimsy, which I don't already have a lion, I don't think. Um, and then a couple little poodles. I haven't seen those poodles before. And you know the bottom of this poodle is kind of like a Wade, so I might have to look it up and see if it's actually a Wade poodle. I didn't know if they have Wade Poodles, but uh, I got a couple items back here that I'd like to show you too. This is a um, little Staffordshire, Staffordshire style dog. I don't think it's obviously true Staffordshire because it's not marked and it's just um, got some paint loss. So I'm gonna look it up and see if I can find something on him. Really cute. I wish it was a cat, but it's not. It's okay. Um, and then I picked up this little dish. I need to clean it up, but it is so cute, and I love the ruffled edge. Obviously, it looks like a sunflower and has the nubbiness on the bottom. So, a really cute dish. Running out of room here. These are a couple really neat candy tins. They have beautiful graphics. This one has a little bit of texture, well, a lot of texture. Uh, it's not completely closed because I need to make some adjustments to the little hinged lid back here. But it is intact. It has um, its stamped horner on the bottom and it's in pretty good condition. And it will close all the way. I just don't want to force it. But yeah, there we go. Really cute. See all the colors and it's, it's um, textured all the way around. It's beautiful and I love that rose. And then this one, same shape, but um, obviously a smooth enamel on it. That transfer design. And this one has a um, different type of label, so maybe a different era. These are super cute. And we'll probably be bringing these to a sale soon.
This is surprisingly a soap dish because it's very large and it has feet and a cute little faucet design and a lot of detail here. It's all raised up and it's surprisingly heavy or it's, I shouldn't say surprisingly, you'd think a piece this size would probably have some weight to it. What I'm saying is that it's not a, like a light, cheaply made porcelain piece which is why when I looked at the bottom and saw a made in China gold sticker, I thought that's so unusual that it would be so well made and so, uh, and then also be, you know, a Chinese piece because sometimes they're not quite as nice, but it does say it was made for um, this company in London. So I don't know. I'm going to have to look it up again. So there we go. There's that. I did pick up this silly little mug. My daughter couldn't believe that I wanted it, but um, I think it's a really nice size and um, can't resist the cat stuff. And what else do we have? We have this um, cute little milk glass goblet. I'm thinking it's probably not anything super special or super old, but I definitely liked the look of it and thought maybe somebody else would too. Did I pick that up today? Now this was unusual. These were um, hanging out in sort of the creamer and sugar section, but I was really drawn to them because of their um, pretty floral design and the black background. And they both have their tops. This one has a top that just lifts off. So maybe just like a little teapot. And then this one has a lid that unscrews. So I don't really know what that's for. And then again, after I removed the price sticker, I was surprised to see Made in China because it is, and not that you can't find nice, well-made things made in China, but I was just, I don't know. I was a little surprised. Again, these, these do need to be cleaned up. They are a little dusty and dirty. So I expect they're gonna clean up really nicely. But a beautiful little, little set. And let's see what else we have here. We have this cute little bank and it's a cat. And it's so neat, the shape of it. And it's handmade and hand painted. And turns out it's signed and it's made here in Issaquah, Washington, very close to where I live. And it has a little um, tag there. It says, the combination of the wild rose and the forget-me-nots in a garland design is a 19th century symbol of eternal love, hand painted by Suzel Inc. So, when my daughter found this, I just thought, uh, yeah, I'm going to buy that. <laughs> so, and I'm not going to sell it. So don't even ask me. It's too cute. And we picked up this little donkey who's missing his nativity scene, no doubt. But what I really was excited about was that it had its Hagen Reniker sticker on it. Um, and it says Hagen Reniker, Harry, 1956, copyright. So I'll be looking that up to see what this little guy is all about. But he's so cute. And I was pleased to see that he was fully intact. Um, this is just a little, little trinket dish, a little tea bag holder, soap dish, but it's so, so pretty and um, nothing wrong with it. I just, I love the variety of really pretty pieces that I found today. Um, and I guess I was in the mood for shopping, so um, let's see. I've never purchased an Anna Lee piece before, 
This one is an Anna Lee piece. It's relatively modern. I think it's from 97. And it has its tag still. And it says, get well soon. I've been needing that lately for various reasons. <laughs> but I just love a cute little mouse. So, got him. I was really excited to find Francoma today. A little tiny, maybe a double shot kind of glass, but you could use it as a vase or a pen holder or whatever. Really pretty piece. Love that green. Love it, love it. There it is, Francoma and the number. Really pretty. And excuse me while I make a quick phone call. Hello, Kate, are you there? Will you send some sunshine up to Washington, please? We really need it. It's been raining all the time. Everyone's talking about summer. Summer's here, but we're not out of spring yet here. In fact, it won't stop raining. Everything's so green, but it <laughs> won't stop raining. <laughs> I found this glass banana and was like, Yes, and it's signed. It has a signature on the stem. It's so cute. Definitely going to be bringing this to a sale pretty soon. Maybe on Trisha's. We'll see. Uh, I found this really neat religious piece. I thought it was really pretty, and I really like the funky um, wood design. Um, maybe from the 70s i don't know 60s it's very kind of boho it's a little dusty too got to clean it up really neat it's got a metal ring up here and this wood on the back i mean it's wood all the way through it's a solid piece of wood and this is a really nice like transfer design I really liked it and I hope you do too. I thought it was neat. And let's see what else we got. Oh, this cutie. This is a cute little plate with a cute little Persian cat looking at a grasshopper in a garden. And I love it. It's a bone china piece made in England. It came with its own hanger and I'm definitely putting this on the wall I might even put it back here add to this little thing I got going on here another cat this one has a cute bow it does have somebody's name on the bottom and USA so I'm gonna be looking that up I don't, I'm not sure you're gonna be able to see it there it's just a cute little one. Definitely keeping it in my collection. These need to be cleaned up as well, but they're little glass um, kittens that have little candle holders there, little tiny candles. I'm just gonna try to find some candles to go with them. Um, they came with a couple candles, but um, those might end up going home with my daughter. This one needs a good cleaning too but look at that face it has a um, like a human face and nose eyes and just so neat love it I gotta do some looking up from this for this guy just covering up the old price tag but I don't know what it says I'm gonna have to look it up and see if I can find any info it's just, you know, sweet little guy, palm size. Definitely adding it to my collection. I don't have anything like it. I picked up a couple Wades that I didn't have, Wade Whimsies. Um, I love selling these on my lives, um, my own collection of them. I've been kind of cycling through, but these are a couple that I didn't have yet. And this guy is not vintage, but it's definitely um, cute. I don't think it's vintage and it's not marked it's just some shelfware right there but uh, nesting dolls pandas when was the last time you saw panda nesting dolls I don't know had to get it 
so cute. Well, did I show everything? I think maybe I did, and we're coming up on almost a half an hour. Actually, I think I saved a couple things for last. There's so many things I can't remember what I showed and what I didn't show. And plus, this is my second time doing this video because the first time was just way too long. I've kind of gone through it a little faster this time. This is a frog. I thought of my friend Joyce Coleman when I saw this because I've recently learned that she loves frogs. But what uh, really drew me to it is the design, the, um, the material. I just realized you probably could hang this on the wall if you wanted to. Um, it does have a label and it's made in chili. It's some sort of pottery that's um, glazed in sort of this matte finish, and it's obviously a frog. So I just loved it. Uh, it's about face size, and it's just darling. So definitely had to get that. And I don't, I don't think I showed this at the beginning, but I had it close to me here. Isn't that the neatest cat? Look at its eyes. <laughs> it's looking at your soul. I love this cat. It's definitely staying at my house. It's pretty big too. And it looks wood, but it's ceramic. I just bought them. Kind of hollow. Not signed anywhere. Definitely cool. So that's all for today. Um, I wanted to say also happy Pride Month. I'm wearing a vintage rainbow little friendship pin that I made when I was in school back in the day. And um, oh yeah, I'm wearing my new earrings and necklace with cameos. They're Trafari from Sabrina. Thanks, Sabrina. So excited to have a Trafari set that I really like. Um, I like a lot of Trafari, but these are really nice. So um, thank you so much for checking out my video. I don't do this very often, so hopefully it'll be um, the first of many. Um, and I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, mostly comment if you um, enjoyed this, if you saw something you liked. Um, you can email me if you're interested in any of the pieces, but uh, I am gonna be bringing um, probably about half of what I showed today to a live sale very soon. So um, with that, I hope you take care of yourself and each other and um, stay safe out there.